Welcome to another video from DarrowRichin.com. Okay, so today this is a bit of a special request. Someone asked to me to basically um, take a look at the Samsung Galaxy S Pen and determine uh, how the accuracy of this pen is. Because one of the things that um, we've seen a lot of times on uh, Wacom enabled tablets is, is a bit of a, a um, uh, I guess a pointer float or an issue along the edges which has been very common with uh, since um, Wacom enabled tablets have been available so as you can see this is a, it was a real close-up of the surface of the of the Galaxy Note 8 and so as you can see that I'm running Sketchbook Pro on here and so you can see this is the this is the, um, the far far off bottom of the screen here but basically you can see that as soon as I, I get close to about I'll probably let's say about a about half uh, about half an inch off the surface of the of the screen. It kind of you see a cursor kind of a little a pop up, and so this gives you kind of an idea of um, of its sensitivity and how it tracks. There's a little bit of a lag, just a little bit, but it's not overly terrible. So let's take a look and start drawing now. So let's see. So you can see that, for the most part, it does track relatively well. I don't have an awful lot of difficulty with it. I just have a simple pencil tool uh, enabled on Sketchbook Pro here, just as an example. So, obviously this is um, not awful. It actually works quite well. I actually do like it a lot. Um, so let's um, take a look and out of the drawing program let's take a look at the note taking program so I'll pop back, back, back out here let's go to the S note and oh, I had something over here earlier so let me just, uh, erase that now S note um, has some of the similar abilities now I have the eraser tool on so, and you can see that I kinda kinda floats along with it now the question really comes down to is, is whether or not not really whether or not any jitter or any um, Cursor issues in the in the middle of the screen is more along. It was a question about whether how they react to the edges. So let's go to the edges here. See that Samsung Samsung itself has done a quite quite a good job of of ensuring there's not a whole lot of problems or any any odd jitter along the edges of uh, of these screens. So you can see that kind of you can see that there. It's not really much of an issue. So uh, with, with penning around, you see that. Now with the with the uh, the S note tool, the the pencil tool, for example, the cursor the cursor disappears. So if I'm going to take notes, you know, and of course my handwriting is not the best at this angle, but you see that uh, another example, it it tracks relatively well. Now, of course, um, with the scroll bar enabled here, it's uh kind of kind of getting in the way. But let's go to this corner over here. So at the very edges, I can still draw without a problem. So there's really no major jitter problem uh, that you would see on some of the Wacom enabled tablets. So there we go. So this is the uh, example of the Galaxy Note 8 S Pen in action. Uh, and once again, it's a, it's a Wacom enabled tablet. So you know, it, well, it kind of shows that drawing along the edges, there's not a whole lot of jitter per se so it doesn't shimmy around uh, let me see if I can pull my my surface or my other uh, Wacom tablets out we can t and we can take a look at as an example so you see I'm going to float over here and the cursor goes to the edge without a whole lot of negative activity so I want to pause for a bit I'm going to change to my uh, one of my other tablets and we'll take a look at that so I'll be right back Okay, so here I have my uh, a real close-up view of my Aces EP121 uh, slate. So, you know, this is just a standard uh, start uh, start screen for Windows 8. But let's take a look. You can see that that um, when I hover my uh, my pen for the Aces, uh, it's a bit of a calibration problem I have. You can see it kind of it's a bit off. But the problem with a lot of the Windows-based ones that we've that have been around. Is um, you'll see that as soon as I get to the closer to the edge, 
tracking becomes a, a problem. See, it really, it's really off on the edges. See how it just kind of floats to the side. You know, uh, it's been, this is kind of a problem that's been around for a long time with these kinds of, of tablets. Let me flip it over, get, get it around the other side, upside down here. Whoops. And you'll see what I mean. So, so from the center on, it's not too too bad. But then you get to the top, kind of floats off to this, it kind of floats off to, to La La Land a little bit. It's not not so much a problem in the top, but really in the corners is where it gets really kind of a problem. So, like for example, uh, this is going to be upper left corner here. So you get closer, you notice it really slides into oblivion here. It's kind of kind of gone into some weird spot. So and see that is really really noticeable in this corner right here. Look at that. So, so this is the, this is my Asus, and and um, let's take a look at the the Surface Pro. See if that the problem carries over. So let me switch over. Right back. Okay, I switched to my Surface Pro. I have a Sketchbook Pro running on here. Um, the one thing that, that to note is that the Surface Pro does have a large a, a bit more distance before detecting the pointer compared to like the Asus or even the uh, even the Galaxy Note. But um, I have this uh, the paintbrush tool on just so I can uh, so I can see they have the marker tool on I mean so I can see kind of where the cursor is. So in the center it's not not awful bad. All right, but then watch when I get to, when I get to the closer to the corner. See in the corner over here. So I get closer, I kind of start drifting and like oh where am I going? There it is. See so it's a little bit uh, so there's still a little bit of that of that problem that carries over. That's uh, um, go out of the corner, flip it this way to the corner here. So you can see that. Let me see. As you can see, it's the corner. It's really kind of see. There's that jitter I was talking about. So you kind of gets that little bit in the corner there. So that's the upper right corner. Flip the upper the left side here. Let's take a look. So once again, you know, there's a bit of a calibration thing going on here. I have to recalibrate a little bit, but. You can see, so, so I'm, I'm, I'm be drawing on here. You can see as I'm kind of lightly touching, but like when it gets to the corner, if you can see that you know, things get kind of, kind of really weird. It's really off in, in a different, different location now. It seems see how the button's off there. So, so the problem on the Windows tablet side still persists. Um, for the most part, it, it is a bit of a minor annoyance, but. Um, Usually, you may not be drawing in that far corner anyway, so it may or may not be an annoyance for you. It's something to consider. Um, it's something that actually Samsung has done a quite quite a good job of sort of hiding uh, on their on their Note eights. So, um, I'll lock it. So back on here, for example, you know, you'll see that at the corners. Oops, I guess oh, I guess some interference with my <laughs> I guess some interference with my Surface Pro right underneath it. You know, don't want to do that. Uh, I guess some so you can see from here it doesn't really have the same issue per se. Well, actually, I take that back. The corners do have some minor issues, but then hold on, All right, that's that's my Surface Pen. Sorry. Uh, there you go. So the their own their own S Pen seems to work work better in the corners. Although you know there are still some minor issues in the corners, so I'd really take that back. It's not it's not perfect, but there's still Samsung has managed to mask it a bit better than uh, than the the Windows or Windows tablets. So I'll go to the top corner here. So you can see it tracks a bit better. It doesn't have that that float or that weird. Um, Angle or positioning problem. So, so there you go. So just a real quick user request to take a look at uh, some more closer looks of the, uh, the how the pen works. I hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching.